and here it is once it is all dry and I'm really really pleased with this I think it turned out so cool looking and it is very slow rising on the sides I'm just so happy with how the details turned out on it like for example the snakes and the stitching but I think my favorite part is the eye I think the eye turned out so cool and as you can see I did not decorate the back because I decided that I would just decorate the back off camera because if I decided to do it in this video or this tutorial then I would have to have waited a few more days for it to dry and I don't think I would be able to get this tutorial up in time so yeah I decided that I would just leave it blank for now and just worry about the front <laughs> But yeah, I'm just so pleased of how the front of it turned out. And also I know that the size of it isn't exactly accurate because I didn't want to use up too much of my foam for this. So I ended up um, making it just a little bit or quite a bit smaller compared to the um, actual spell book. But really you can make it whatever size you want. See so yeah, I'm actually not sure yet if I'm going to decorate the back or not. I might just leave it like this but yeah I'm not sure yet. <laughs> but yeah just so so pleased with this. And by the way, I've never actually watched any of the Hocus Pocus films. I think there's two that that are in existence. I'm not really sure. But yeah, it's a film that I am very, very interested in. I know it's a very popular Halloween film. So I wanted to make something inspired by it. Because I've seen so many people on YouTube make their own Hocus Pocus spell books. But I've never seen anyone make a squishy version of it. So I thought this would be a really unique idea. So yeah, hopefully one day I'll get to see them. Or one of them. Because <laughs> I think there was a remake of it that um, came out. Um, quite recently I'm not really sure <laughs> I could be wrong but yeah I just think this looks so good I probably could have done a neater job with some of it like for example the pages but I was kind of rushing because like I said I wanted to get this tutorial up in time <laughs> And yep, that is it for this tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed watching and please stay tuned for please stay tuned for a um another Halloween themed video which will hopefully be coming up on my channel very soon. And I'm not sure yet if it's going to be another squishy tutorial because um because I don't know how much time I will have to finish it. So yeah, I'm not really sure yet what I'm going to be doing next, but I do have another video in mind that isn't a squishy tutorial and hopefully I should be able to get that done a lot quicker and hopefully be able to upload that in time. So 
yeah again not sure yet but please stay tuned for whatever video is coming next on my channel <laughs> just that we're getting closer and closer to Halloween it's honestly crazy just how quickly it's coming <laughs> But yeah, I really hope you like this squishy. I worked really hard on this one. And if you haven't seen it yet, then please go and check out my previous squishy tutorial on how to make Casper the Friendly Ghost. I'm really proud of that one as well. So if you haven't seen that yet, please go and check it out. And if you enjoyed this one, then please click thumbs up on this video and subscribe to my channel. It would make me so, so happy if you did. And also, please go and check out my Etsy shop and my Instagram, which are both linked in the description box below, as always. I'd really appreciate it if you go and look at those as well. I still have... And I still have quite a lot or quite a few Halloween themed squishies for sale on my Etsy right now. As well as quite a few other squishies for sale as well. <laughs> and yep, that's all I have to say. So I really hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.